Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel of Arun's Creation. Today I am going, I am going to start a new series for uh, Nick Collection. And uh, Nick Collection, we have this uh, Color Effects, Define, HDR Effects, Sharp Pro, Silver Effects, and Viviza. Uh, my fans, those love photography and they can use. Uh, this is really a very useful and very helpful and time-saving plugin, Nick Collection. And I will teach you each and every uh, step about Nick Collection. You how you can use all these. Uh, plugins as well as in combinations as well as uh, by you can uh, use it as a single command so firstly I have this image uh, so I will start with uh, some of the basic uh, tools of uh, Nick collection then firstly I will go to filter and there is no need to make a new copy and uh, Nick collection automatically create a new copy for the layer now go to filter then Nick collection then I will start with color effects so basically this image is under exposed and uh, it is taking time okay now we have these uh, working area for uh, our for our photo mm. this is the center part and this is right panel and this is left panel now you have this button and uh, whenever you click then this right panel will be height similarly on this side so click on again and you will get the panel again now if you want some effect then if you have this mark it means the this filter is applied to this image and if you unmark this this is my original image okay now here are some options like all landscape wedding architect favorite nature portrait travel uh, suppose uh, if I go to this portrait suppose this is my favorite uh, dynamic skin soften that uh, I want as favorite uh, in my favorite only detail extra is there if I want to add something uh, like this click on start button and uh, it is going to yellow and I will get this here so you can mark as a favorite of your favorite plugin because there are so many plugins and if you find out any specific if you are not able to find out because of the many uh, many plugins so I will start with the um, like like nature uh, here we have this uh, this is this image is uh, already a very underexposed image so I will start with the high key click on high key now it is taking time so whenever I click there then I will get some options for the same plugin like high key in high key we have this glow standard high key dynamic high key saturation blacks contrast as well as these control points so uh, I think the light has been put more so I will reduce the light by reducing the glow amount then uh, you will see the effect on the on there because it is very heavy command so it is taking time mm, then I will reduce more okay mm, that's nice uh, you can adjust all sliders here mm, in saturation I can increase the saturation and see the effect this is my black points if I want to increase black points I want to reduce it then you can also play with contrast um, like this now this is before and this is after if you want to add more filter then click on add filter then you have the option to add the new filter now click on detail extractor whenever you click there you will get these options and having mark on both it means the both plugins are working for the image then adjust the slider like detail extractor so here my aim is to I want to add some details in the clouds not on the bottom part of the image so we have this control points now click on plus point then click once on there then you can make the circle bigger so that uh, uh, 
I want this effect only in the circle so it is working only in the circle like this this is before and this is after and this command and this plugin is working on this area now you can adjust the sliders because I want uh, detail in clouds so that I have applied this control panels then you can click there and you can move the points as well now I want it to move on the upper part of this image whenever you click there then you will get this opacity you can adjust this opacity and it's really a very helpful command so if you want to add some more filter more plugin then click on add filter mm, now this time I will try some like uh, contrast click on contrast I will play with contrast now you can use this contrast button to reduce the contrast or increase the contrast I will adjust contrast and soft contrast and uh, increase the saturation if you want so I will show you before and after this is with contrast and this is without contrast and this is without extract extracted detail extractor now this is without high key now if I mark on all these effects then you can see the effect now if you are satisfied with the effect click on ok otherwise you can click on cancel click on ok then it will make automatically a new layer now this is the image after applying the next software collection this is before and this is after now I got this effect only by using next software and uh, I hope you have liked this video and uh, you will get more videos on next software. Thank you friends. Keep watching on this creation.